Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's see how do we connect ratio with percentage. So now we know what are what is ratio. Now we also know what is percentage. So now we will try to see that how we can link ratios with percentages. So in order to convert ratio to percentages, again, we follow a few very simple steps. So let us look at this example. Let's say that you have to convert each part of this ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 into percentage. So how would you convert it into percentage? So the first step is that divide each part by sum of all the parts. So what are the three parts here? 2, 3 and 5. These are the three parts. So what are the three parts? 2, 3 and 5. So we have to convert each of these parts into a percentage. So I mean it is something like this. Let us say that the ratio of the ages of 3 people are 2 is to 3 is to 5. That means if the age of the first person is 2x, the age of the second person would be 3x and the age of the third person would be 5x. That is the meaning of 2 is to 3 is to 5. So now if you have to calculate or if you have to find out a percentage of each of those people that means that let's say if, if you have to express the same thing in terms of how much percent of the total age is of the first person how much percent of the total age is of the second person or how much percent of the total age is of the third person so in that case you have to convert each part into a percentage so in order to do that what do you do you convert you divide each part so the first part is 2 divide it by sum of the three parts that is 2 plus 3 plus 5 so you divide 2 by 2 plus 3 plus 5 and then how do you so in this way you get a fraction right so 2 out of 10 6 7, 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 so this is 2 out of 10 because total you have 10 and you are now considering the first part which is 2 so 2 out of 10 and then you convert it into percentage so you multiply by 100 and put a percentage symbol so in this way you get it as 20%. Similarly, for the second part, you can do the same thing 3 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 5, which is 3 divided by 10 into 100. So this becomes 30%. And similarly, 5 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 5, so this is 5 divided by 10 into 100. So this becomes 50%. So you see each part of the ratio got converted into a percentage. So if you say that the chocolates have been divided amongst three friends in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. So that means the first child got 20% of the chocolates, the second child got 30% of the chocolate and the third child got 50% of the chocolate. So this is basically the meaning of conversion of ratio to percentages. So let us look at this real life example. So if the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. So which are the angles of the triangle? So these are the three angles of the triangle and they are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. What does that mean? That means that if we assume that let's say the value of this angle is 2x, then the value of this angle would be 3x and the value of this angle would be 4x. Why did we consider x? Because we do not know what is the real value of the angle. If the value could be anything, the real value could be 20 degree, it could be 40 degree, it could be 100 degree, it could be anything. So we just assume that let there be a variable x such that if this value is 2x, this would be 3x and this would be 4x because in that case the ratio will be 2 is to 3 is to 4. So you have to find out the value of each angle. Now we already know that sum of three angles of a triangle is always equal to how much? So we have already learned this in our previous lesson. So the sum of the three angles is always equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we can say that 2x plus 3x plus 4x is equal to 180 degree. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 9. So 9x is equal to 180 degrees or we can say x is equal to 180 degree divided by 9. So x will be equal to 20 degree. Therefore, what would be the angles? 
So the value of the angles would be 2x that is 2 into 20 degree which is 40 degree. 3x which is 3 into 20 degree which is 60 degree and 4x which is 4 into 20 that is 80 degree. So the three angles of the triangles would be 40 degree, 60 degree and 80 degree respectively. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.